his first team second. Welcome into tonight's broadcast of high school basketball on WOSN. A little bit late getting started here tonight due to some technical difficulties, but fortunately for you, no score on the board between the Pandora Gilboa Rockets and the host Liberty Benson Eagles. Evan Skilleter alongside Dar Nevergold tonight. And Dar, such a pleasure to be with you for such a big time showdown between two of the top teams in the BBC. The Eagles tonight come in 16 and 1, 7 and 0 in that Blanchard Valley Conference. And the Rockets sitting at 14 and 3, 6 and 1 in the BBC. So a win tonight will get them into a tie for first as you see a block right there by one of the Harris twins and that one is Aiden Dar. Again, what a great show and what an exciting night for basketball. Yeah, for absolutely, and the only loss that Liberty Van has was last Saturday against a good defiance team. So, you know, they're coming in here, like you said, having a 12, or a 16 and 1 right now. They've had, so far in this game, we had two turnovers apiece. So, is really going to get up and down the court, I can tell. First bucket of the game goes to Colin Harris, the leading scorer for, or the second leading scorer for the Rockets. You see a three on the way from the Eagles. That's no good. We'll get some starting lineups for you right now. First starting with Pandora wearing those gray uniforms. They start with Colin Harris, Derek Matt, Aiden Harris, Aiden Morris, and Jake Matt. On the other side for the Eagles, it's Cameron Garlock, Carson Conway, Casey Doolittle, Lincoln Gala, and Reed Thomas. Three-pointer there is good from Cam Garlock. That's the first bucket for the Eagles and gives them a 3-2 lead. Yeah, that's Cam Garlock's 10th three-pointer of the season. You know, just a 31% three-point th three three shooter, but he hit that one right away. Now the Rockets back to work, left-handed left, no good, but the first foul of the game will be called against Reed Thomas and two free throws coming up for the Rockets. And Reed Thomas is a 61% free throw shooter. And he was shooting two. Reed Thomas, Reed Yeah, Eden's really a frog in this, uh, this Pandora offense. And he's really got to be on tonight because they're going to need all the scores they can get against this strong Liberty Bend team. Now you're looking at two teams out there in Liberty Bend and Pandora that leads in about every offensive and defensive category in the BBC between the two of them. Second free throw good. So Morris gets one of two to tie the score at three apiece. The Eagles coached by Doug Whiteman and on the other side it's Mike Lee for the Rockets. Pull up three pointer no good from Doolittle. Senior night here at Liberty Benton. All seniors honored and a nice gesture. They also honored the Pandora Gilboa senior cheerleaders and basketball players to go along with their support of their own seniors. And how about the move right there from Aiden Harris? He is the leading scorer on this team, averaging 17.9 points a game. That was a nifty little move to keep that pivot foot was tough. That was a tough move too to go around this defender that way. Yeah, you got you got a couple guys in here, Aiden Harris and you know and Colin Harris and Derek Mag. Some guys can score on this Pandora team, but they're gonna need every one of them tonight. Now, tough layup, no good. Offensive rebound though by Cam Garlock. And then a foul called against the Rockets. That's Colin Harris. That was our number one. That's Harris's first foul, the first against the Rockets. And a quick substitution for both teams as Nate Mag enters for the Rockets. And Jake Gherkin, the 6'3 sophomore, checks in for Liberty Benton. Yeah, right now the Eagles have three fouls. Rockets have one. Missed there at the basket by Conaway. Nice lob pass on the inbounds play. The Rockets come the other way. They lead 5-3 and then turn the ball over. That's a third turnover for the Rockets already here in the first quarter. They come in only averaging just under 11 turnovers a game. For the Rockets, number five, Owen Hoffman. On the flip side, Liberty Benton's got two turnovers already. They average just around nine turnovers a game. So neither one of these teams give the ball up very much, but they sure have already in this first quarter. Owen oh, Huffman checks in. Yeah, both of them know how big this game is. The Rockets 
were undefeated in the BBC until not long ago when they lost on a last second shot to the Arlington Red Devils. Arlington, another team with just one loss in the BBC, so keeping tabs on what's going on here as Cam Garlock ties it up with his fifth point of the night. Tie 5-5. Five, five. Now Morris to the basket. He's fouled on his way up. Arlington come, you know, they're six and one in the BBC too. They're only lost in the other event in case 43 to 41. Three teams at the top, and there's a potential for a three-way long game right away. Hayden Morris back to the line. That foul was called against Case and Doolittle. That's his first but already four fouls against the Eagles so far tonight as Seth Elkert checks in. Morris misses both. Just one from four so far from the free throw line. Doolittle brings it up, working against Derek Mag. Now Gherkin gets to his left. Drops it off for Garlock. Good patient, patient possession from the Eagles here. Liberty Ben averaging 57 points a game, giving up only 37 points a game. They flip over at Pandora, averaging 60 points a game, giving up just under 41 points a game. Conway on the wing. It's Seth Elkert. Elkert to the basket and a foul. That'll be Nate Mag tacked with his first and the second against the Rockets. Sending Seth Elkert to the line for two. Seth Elkert shooting two. Yeah, in 17 games, Elkert's only been to the foul line for 17 shots. He's four for 17 from. 23.5%. Little confusion here. Second shot goes. 6-5 the Eagles on top. Morris brings it down. Rockets pushing the tempo right now. Boy, they're really cutting down court quickly. Aiden Harris lost the handle and a foul called against the Rockets on the loose ball. Nate Mag will be attacked with two quick ones. Now Mag will take a seat. Jake Mag back into the game. The Rockets number 40, Jake Mag replacing Nate Mag. The Rockets are getting down the court in a hurry, but boy, they've already got four turnovers in this game, so they've got to really take better care of the basketball. Two and a half to play here in the first quarter. 6-5 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Deep three-pointer on the way. How about that? Lincoln Garlock from way downtown. His first basket. Garlock's a 39% three-point shooter, and you can see why. He got a quick release to get that out of there. Now Harris gets to the rack. He's blocked from behind by Carson Conaway, and then a foul on the rebound. Four now against the Rockets. First called against Owen Huffman. Well, Pandora knows they're going to be challenged on the boards tonight. They really got to be aggressive, and they have been, but they're getting the fouls called on them, too, because the referees are calling real close on the inside. And, you know, they, they come in averaging about 24 rebounds a game, but they're giving up a little bit of height to this Liberty Benton team. At three, far too deep. Colin Harris with the rebound, brings it down for the Rockets. Aiden Morris dribbles to his left, drops it off for Colin Harris. Now Aiden Harris. The Rockets showing some patience here. Slow it down a little bit, trying to get better to handle on the basketball. And that Get these turnovers to get a look at the event and these opportunities they've been given. Ball in the corner. Morris inside stops. Pass tipped away, but Jake Mag able to grab it. 
65 seconds to play in the first quarter. Owen Huffman gets inside. Nice little move there to find space. Huffman with his first basket. Cuts the lead to two. 50 seconds now. Hey, I mean, Huffman's that guy that really you got to keep an eye on because he can really make a big difference in this game. Three-pointer from Garlock. No good and a foul from behind. That's Jake Gerken with his first and five fouls now against the Liberty Benton. Noah Trevino checks in. And Derek Mag comes into the game for the Rockets. Sorry, Nate Mag in for the Rockets. Derek Mag also checked in. Here's Colin Harris, drops it off for Aiden. Aiden picked up his dribble, but able to hand it to Morris. Morris inside, had some space, but elects to send it back to the perimeter. Owen Huffman. Nice defensive possession from the Eagles. Harris outside, three blocked. Big closeout from Seth Elkert, the 6'3 freshman sending that back. I mean, they got Elkert in there. He's been guarding Aiden Harris most of the time. And, you know, he's just got those long arms and he's quick. Foul number six against the Eagles. So the entire second quarter, the Eagles will be playing at the limit. 1.6 seconds on the clock. It was Noah Trevino tackled his first. Colin Harris will inbound. Harris inbounds. Huffman, three. No good at the buzzer, and that does it for the first quarter. Nine to seven, Liberty Benton on top on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. We'll step aside. Second quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says, go Rockets. I'll tell you what, Evan, if this game comes down to the wire and this thing, you know, you're looking at Pandora Gabo has been in a lot of tight games, particularly in the last two games, you know, they've been, you know, you know well, last three actually with Arlington's game and then Columbus Grove and, and Bluffton as well. But, you know, on the flip side, Liberty Benton has really not been tested that much. Outside of the Arlington game of 43-41, when they won that game, they really have not been close in a lot of their games. So it'll be interesting when we get in the fourth quarter and see how that plays out. Foul called against Aiden Harris. Aiden with two fouls. He'll take a seat. That's five against the Rockets. Ball sent in for Doolittle. Doolittle, the 6'3 senior, headed to Eastern Michigan for aviation, they said, before the game. Interesting. On which one side of the plane is he going to be on? I mean, that's right. Doolittle shoots, misses off the front. Colin Harris grabs the rebound. Harris ahead for Zach Neuenschwander. Neuenschwander steps into a three. Rebound on the run by Doolittle. He's going to go all the way to the rack. Misses the layup. The link Garlock there for the rebound and a foul called against the Rockets. That'll be against Colin Harris, and that's number two against Colin. So Aiden's going to head to the table and check back in. Number one, Twelve fouls already here. Run. Just into the second quarter. Carlock floats it up from inside, misses that one. Jake Mag tipped the rebound out to Morris. So I misspoke earlier when I said Aiden Harris had two fouls. He just has the one. Harris inside, lost the rock, puts it up, and he's fouled. There is no flow to this ball game. None at all. 
Aiden will head to the line to shoot two. Harris this season, a 73% free throw shooter. The foul, by the way, called against Reed Thomas, his second, second against, or seventh, excuse me, against the Eagles. Hey, you're right, Evan. There is no flow whatsoever. There's no rhythm on either side. I mean, it's just kind of barnyard basketball right now. Harris looking to tie this game. Low scoring affair. Both teams playing tough defense. Harris missed it. Fight for the rebound. And we've got a jump ball. Arrow favors the Eagles. And Pamkor is trying to push the tempo, you know, to get it down the court as quick as they could, but they weren't able to set up very effectively without, you know, either a foul being called or, you know, they lose the ball. So. On the flip side, look at the Bentons come down there and firing up three pointers. They've already thrown, shot six three pointers in this game. And the long rebounds are going to the Rockets. Ball goes inside, turnaround floater good. Carson Conway with a nice touch. Conway now with four points, three point lead for the Eagles. 11 8 on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Three on the way, off the front, no good. Nice offensive board by Owen Huffman. He hands to Aiden Harris. Colin Harris back to the table to check in. Seth Elkert over there as well. The league is really clogging up that middle. There's really nothing there. Another offensive rebound. Neuenschwander grabs his own miss. Harris goes baseline, turn around jump shot. That's a tough look, no good. Good defense there from Cam Garlow. Yeah, you had to kind of pump it a little bit there to get it up there. Harris gets the steal, sends ahead to Neuenschwander, jump stop off glass, good. Third turnover for Liberty Benton. We've got some points for Vandor Gilboa. 11-10, now the score. Five minutes to play, second quarter of action. Ball in the wing. It's Cameron Garlock. Garlock guarded tightly by Owen Huffman. Now a touch pass, corner three, that's long. And a push off. That'll be Carson Conway with the foul. Number two against Conway, number eight against Liberty Benton, but because it was the oh, offensive variety, they will not have free throws on the floor. Well, I'll tell you what, this is an aggressive game right now. I think, you know, and the referees are keeping it really close, too. I want to thank our premier sponsor tonight, Finley Truck and RV. And I stand corrected, we will have free throws here. Uh, at least a one and one, Harris, excuse me. One one. Aiden Harris to the line. First shot up. That's good. Tie score, 11 all. Second one goes as well. That gives the Rockets the lead. Aiden Harris up to five points. Leads all scorers alongside Cameron Garlock. Elkert off the screen. Sorry, that's Jake Gherkin. That was Elkert up top. Now a three on the way. How about that? Wow. Lincoln Garlock with his second three and a quick timeout taken by the Rockets. They take the lead back. The Eagles take the lead back 14-12. We'll be right back. Today's premier sponsor for the Liberty Benton Eagles is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. 
Welcome back to Liberty Benton, where it's 14-12. Eagles on top on the Springer Insurance scoreboard. And an offensive foul called against Colin Harris. Just entered the game after sitting for a while with two fouls and make it three. So he will take a seat once again, replaced by Derek Mag. That was a tough one there for Pandora Gilboa. He had a nice shot to the basket there. They would have been doing a nice job getting the ball inside and then kicking it out to the three-point shooters and they're being able to get off quick three-point shots before Pandora can react and get back there. Nice pass inside. Seth Elkert catches it on the way up and finishes at the rack to give the Eagles a four-point lead. And Elkert was only averaging just under three points a game. He has three already tonight. Biggest lead of the game for the Eagles, believe it or not. Aiden Morris with it. Morris gets tacked with the five second call, lost track of time. And over number six for Pandora Boa. So now Liberty Benton with a chance to extend the lead. On the wing, it's Seth Elkert, three from the top. It's off from Cameron Garlock, but an offensive rebound. In the corner, Elkert. Hey, look at Ben throwing up. Oh, 282 three-pointers coming into this game. Doolittle dribbling up top. Now runs to his right side. He will set up a play. Doolittle gets two screens. Now it goes back to Lincoln Garlock. Here's Gherkin, and Gherkin stepped on the line. He will turn it over. Nate Mag checks in. Unofficially the fourth turnover now for Liberty Benton as well. So ten turnovers between the two teams here in the first half. And a foul up top. Too much contact there from Lincoln Garlock. Two free throws coming up for Owen Huffman. 75% free throw shooter. He's only shot 12 this season. Trevino will check in. That was foul number two against Lincoln Garlock. Oh, was that a game like this? Guys like Owen Huffman, and you look over on the flip side like Elkhart. Elkert are guys that are going to be unsung heroes, I think, in the game. Because you know the big, big guys out there, the key players for both teams. You know, but it's those guys coming in there, they could really make a difference because nobody's really paying that much attention to them. Second free throw up. It rolls out, but an offensive rebound pulled in by number 20, Derek Mag. That's a foul on the loose ball. Seventeen fouls. Boy, it's kind of hard to get a rhythm in this kind of game. We've got that many fouls on between the two teams. Nine fouls for the Eagles, eight for the Rockets. One and one coming up for Cameron Garlock. Seventy-nine percent free throw shooter too. This is the first. Mag inside, pulls up, jump shot well off. Offensive rebound and then a block. Referee says too much contact though, so that'll be a foul against Seth Elkert, his first team 10. Two free throws coming up for the 73% free throw shooter, Aiden Harris. Harris averaging 
Just under 18 points a game. Got that many of them. on Tuesday night in a win over Columbus Grove, a close win over Columbus Grove. He just got a smooth touch at the, the foul line. I tell you. Shot up and good. One point lead. Eagles lead 16 15, under two to play in the first half. Ball over to Doolittle. Doolittle stops, pops, no good off the back. Yeah, those three pointers, if they don't go, are long rebounds for Pandora Gavoa. Loose ball, but it finds Aiden Harris. New and Schwander goes baseline, kicks it to the corner. Nice jab all the way to the rack. Bucket no good for Morris. Offensive rebound. Harris gets a man in the air. Three on the way. Splash! And the foul. Oh. Aiden Harris with the big three. Foul was called against Seth Elkert. That's number two against him. That was a tough three-point shot, too, but he had a hand right in his face. Harris has been guarded tight, tightly all night. He has 10 points. Misses the free throw, but his team leads 18-16. Doolittle getting to work for Liberty Benton. Gives it to Elkert. Now Trevino. Trevino's pass taken away. Good read by Morris. Morris up top. Morris hands to New and Schwander. Now Mag, 37 on the clock. Coach Lee barking out some orders to him. And run this down as far as they can before they take that last shot. Here's Jake Mag. Mag to Nguyen Schwander. Nguyen Schwander goes up. It's just stripped right out of his hands by Trevino. 15 on the clock. Garlock gives it up to Doolittle. Doolittle to his left. Spins inside. Fouled on his way up. You can see that one from up here. So with 5.3 on the clock. Case and Doolittle will head to the free throw line. Aiden Morris tacked with his first, ninth, ninth against Pandora. First free throw good. That's his first point. Averaging about just over 15 points a game. To tie the game, free throw rolls in. 5.3 on the clock, 18 all, low scoring affair. Three now. And shot is up, an offensive foul called. Had to finish one with, or finish the half with a foul, right? Absolutely. <laughs> That's against Aiden Morris, so his second foul ends the first half. 18 all to score. And an exciting BBC matchup. We will step aside. Second half coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. Welcome back for the start of the second half here at Liberty Benton High School. 18 all the score between the Eagles and the visiting Pandora Gilboa Rockets. And we start the second half right where we left off, basically a loose ball, guys on the ground. And it has been, I don't even want to call it sloppy, but definitely physical and hard nose out there. Well, it's been very physical and a lot of long, strong uh, defense. But one of the things is we've noticed in that in the first half, 18-18 scored because nobody can get any kind of rhythm, any kind of flow in the game. I mean, they a lot of fouls being called, a lot of turnovers in that one. You know, 
Eight turnovers for PG in the first half, five for Liberty Benton. Neither team shooting exceptionally well. Yeah. And here's and your foul. And there's another foul. You know, and the other thing, you know, is, like I said, they're not shooting very well. And Pandora is seven for 13 at the foul line in that first half. That's 54%, but they left six points there. You know, Liberty Benton was three for five. They left a couple points at the foul line, too. So, you know, point, and it looks like points are going to be a premium tonight, you know, with these two defenses playing the way they are. And the turnover at the other end. The foul, by the way, was the third called against Carson Conaway. If you look up at the board, there's a lot of guys out there with two fouls, you know, and a couple of them with three fouls. And the biggest one being Colin Harris, the second leading scorer for the Rockets, and a turnover. Rockets take it right back. Here comes Aiden Harris. Harris gets inside, goes up, and gets it in. Nice soft work. touch there. Absolutely. Aiden Harris had 10 points in the first half, and a lot of came at the foul line. He had five points at the foul line, and then a three-pointer and, and a two. Another loose ball, but the Eagles keep possession. Left-hand layup, no good from Carson Conway. Aiden Harris is going to go all the way to the rack, puts it up. That's a block. Oh, my goodness. The referee disagrees. You get the benefit of replay. We do not have replay on our broadcast tonight. But if you're on YouTube, you can rewind, check it out again. And if you're not, be sure to check out YouTube for all of our past broadcasts. About a week after each broadcast, the game gets uploaded to YouTube. You can check out every broadcast that we've had this year from every sport on our YouTube page. So that is foul number two against Aiden Harris, number one against the Rockets of the half. Each team with one foul now already here in the third quarter. A nice pass inside. Reed Thomas with the basket. That's Thomas's first basket of the night. Score back tied at 20. Rockets doing a nice job though on the boards. They're out rebounding uh, Liberty Benton right now. Part of that is because Liberty Benton shot a lot of threes. They shot, you know, 10 three pointers in the first half. And travel called there on Derek Mag. Eleven miscues now for Bandor Gabo. Score still tied at 20. Doolittle hands to Cameron Garlock. Doolittle runs around the entire <laughs> court until he gets the ball back. Now swung around for Lincoln Garlock. They go inside. Three-pointer on the way. No good from Cameron Garlock and a foul. Got an injured player on the floor. Aiden Morris falling on top of. So while they look at him, we'll step aside. 2020 to score. Five away to go right here on WOSN. Today's premier sponsor for the Liberty Benton Eagles is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Welcome back as Morris able to get up and walk off the court. He did get tacked with his third foul as well. So it's two against the Rockets. And a foul against the Rockets again, make it three. And, oh, I'm sorry, they just called a kick. It was not a foul, it was a kickball. Sent in. Here's Reed Thomas. Thomas gives to Cam Garlock. Doolittle will set up the offense up top, guarded closely by Owen Huffman. We haven't seen a lot of set offense tonight, that's for sure. Doolittle, nice spin inside as he goes up and puts it in to give the Eagles the 22 20 advantage. That's Doolittle's fourth point. First one here in the second half. 
Colin Harris spins nice inside, move, and he's nice fouled. Oh. You're right, Darb. Fantastic move and control. I'll tell you what, I've been impressed with a lot of players getting to the basket and performing these, these really clean spin moves. It's Absolutely. really tough to spin like that and not travel, but we've seen a lot of really good action. Referees had enough of somebody. I have two, to be honest with you. They're going to kick somebody out of this game. So which one did he kick out? Her? Okay. Now. You get a two for one. They want the man to leave, but yeah. wife's got to go with him. Give him credit. He is respectfully getting up without a scene. Well, <laughs> somewhat. Then you're going to get the kids rallied up, that's for sure. Oh, that's all right. A little school spirit never hurt anybody. Nope, absolutely not. Must be cowboy night tonight, too. That's right. All the cowboy hats and horse puppets. Free throw up. That goes. Colin Harris, three points tonight. Cuts the lead to one. Harris, a 65% free throw shooter. Yeah, Cowboy Night over here on Pandora's side. And I think on Liberty Venn's side, there's the older people, because they're all dressed in older costumes. That's right. One of two for Colin Harris. 22-21 the score on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Cam Garlock sends it inside. Carson Doolittle, or Kaysen, excuse me. Carson. Now Doolittle spins, goes up, and scores. That's a good move right there. Definitely not enough contact to call the charge. Of course, when your player falls over, as a fan, naturally you want some kind of call, but a good move nonetheless. In 24-21, the Eagles on top. I got a feeling, Evan, it isn't going to make any difference what's called from this point on. I think you're probably right. The foul coming up. And that'll be against Aiden Morris. That's number four against Morris. And Coach Lee wants a timeout here to get his team calmed down. And he calls it here. So. With the timeout, we'll step aside 24-21. Eagles on top here in the third quarter on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says go Rockets. A correction to the call right before the break, the foul was actually called against Owen Huffman, so that was Huffman's third. Third against the Rockets. The play continues here with 3.37 to go in the third quarter. Doolittle. Rockets playing right now. We've got three players with three fouls, one player with two fouls. On the flip side, you've got one player on the Liberty Bend side with three fouls and three with two fouls. Doolittle splashes the open look. Six-point lead for the Eagles. And a quick timeout taken by Coach Whiteman. 27-21 the score. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Today's premier sponsor for the Liberty Benton Eagles is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Welcome back to Liberty Benton High School. 27-21, the Eagles on top after a big three from Kaysen Doolittle. And Doolittle with seven points now here in the second half, nine overall. Fairly quiet in the first half. They did a nice job keeping them out of there, but he put up seven of them so far. Here's Colin Harris. Harris over to Aiden Harris. Aiden goes baseline, able to tiptoe the line, kept it in bounds. And a travel before the shot. Yeah, one, one too many steps there. Substitute checking in. Zach Neuenschwander will give Colin Harris a breather. Replacing 
Doolittle will bring it up. Doolittle, a six foot three senior, and he, does, he runs a point for him. Ball sent over to Carson Conway. Conway's pass taken away by Jake Mag. Pandora desperately needs a basket right here. Neuenschwander, nice little move to get inside, but he's blocked from behind. Carson Conway knocks it out of bounds. Here comes Colin Harris back into the game, as does Nate Mag, checking in for Jake. Owen Huffman will take a seat as well for the Rockets. Huffman and Jake Mag. Harris to Harris. This is Aiden. Now gives it back to Colin. Aiden Morris up top. Morris inside, and we have a foul. That's Lincoln Garlock, his third. So Lincoln Garlock with three. Carson Conway with three. Lincoln's going to be replaced by Cam. Here's Harris. Nice little backdoor cut. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice move. Nice pass inside to him. Aiden Harris with the bucket. The assist goes to Colin. Colin, the assist leader on this team by far. 70 total assists coming into tonight. Next closest is Aiden Morris with 39. So 41, 31 assists separates him from the next highest passer. But a mid-range jumper from Case and Doolittle in the meantime. Sends the lead to six. 11 now for Doolittle. And Doolittle's had a last couple shots have been open for him. We're going to have to put a little more pressure on him now. We said he was quiet in the first half with only two points, and that came to the free throw line. But he's making up for it here in the third. Harris turned, shoots, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Liberty Benton. And here is tonight's winning 50-50 number 370. Pardon me, last touch by the Rockets. So it'll be Eagles basketball with 115 to go in the third. 301-1238. Derek Mag checks back in. Aiden Morris will take a break. Aiden Harris, excuse me. Two Harrises, two Aidens. It's tough to keep up with for a broadcaster, Dar. Definitely is. I noticed that a lot of times I'm looking at it like, whoa, wait a minute, wait, which Aiden you want to talk about? <laughs> Doolittle gets inside, passes out, corner three, splash. The sophomore Jake Gherkin with the three, his first basket. Nine point lead for the Eagles, under a minute to play in the third. It's 14 three pointer of the season. Colin Harris, baseline cut off nicely by Cameron Garlock. Harris backs it out. Yeah, the Rockets for the last shot. They need this shot, too. They need this bucket here going into the fourth quarter. Down to 13. Down to 10. Harris gets fouled. That's against Conaway. That's number three on him. Number four, actually. Wow. 7.3 on the clock. Conaway, the second leading scorer on this team at 13.4 points a game. And he only, so far, he's only had two points in this game. But now he sits the bench with four fouls. All in for Mag. Gives it back to Aiden Harris. Harris to Collin. Collin step back three blocked. Still time on the clock, but that will do it now. 32 23, Liberty Benton on top after three quarters of play. We'll be back with the fourth quarter after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Sprunger Insurance says, go Rockets. 
Now the fall. Rockets trailing by nine, 32-23 at the start of the fourth quarter. That was a 14-5 advantage for Liberty Benton in the third quarter. Here's Aiden Harris, has it taken away. Cam Garlock to the basket, stops, turns, good patience but not able to finish. And then a foul from behind by Kaysen Doolittle. It's number three against Doolittle. Number 10, Kaysen Doolittle, his third. Team spin. I will say the Rockets have done a nice job of rebounding tonight and getting position on the inside and forcing Liberty Benton to go over the top to try to get the ball. Five fouls against the Eagles, three against the Rockets, and make it six fouls against the Eagles. That'll be Jake Gherkin. Fouls on number 13, Jake Gherkin, his second. That's Gherkin's second. Entering the game for Liberty Benton, number 14, Lincoln Burnbach, replacing Thomas. For the Rockets, number five, Owen Huffman, replaces May. Boy, I'll tell you, it's just so hard try to come up with any kind of flow to this game. Oh, look out. Colin Harris was wide open. Four points for Colin Harris. Brother Aiden with 14. Seven point lead for the Eagles. Back to work offensively, fouled up top. Calling this game very tightly tonight. Derek Mag gets tacked with the foul. That's only his first. It's weird to say that, Dar. How did that happen? <laughs> That's only his first? I mean. Lincoln Garlock, double team, but gets it away to Cameron. Now Case and Doolittle. They'll be going to slow it down now and even more, try to just work up for the best shot they can with this advantage now. That pass tipped away. And we've got a referee timeout. Looks like Aiden Morris might have gotten hit in the face there. And now we're mad that we stopped the <laughs> game for an injured player on their own team. Yeah. Well, I think they're saying he had position. You'll call foul. <laughs> Sometimes I'm left speechless as well. Harris to the bucket, goes up, oh, look at finishes. Aiden Harris. Aiden Harris now with 16 points. One was, away from his average. I'll tell you, man, I mean, that was just pure strength to get that ball up there over the rim. Jake Gherkin has it taken away. Aiden Harris goes up, misses at the rim. Two minutes gone in the fourth quarter. Five point lead for the Eagles. Doolittle passes to Cam Garlock, gets it right back. Doolittle inside, goes up, fouled. That'll be, I believe, against Aiden Morris. It is, so that's his fourth, team fifth. He's a little shooting, too. He's low with 103 free throws this season already. Doolittle up to 11 points. Second one up. That goes as well. Doolittle only had two points at halftime. Two points. We had a strong third quarter to bring him back into this game and you know stretch it out. He's a 77% free throw shooter, and like I said, that's you know well over, that's over 100 free throws he's attempted. He gets two to go. 34-27. Colin Harris gets things going for the Rockets. Gives it to Aiden. Aiden lost it. And officially 14 turnovers from the, for the Rockets. Seven point lead. Eagles trying to extend that. 
Lincoln Garlock swung over to Cam. Now up top, Seth Elkert. Good ball movement around the perimeter. Pass goes inside. Lincoln Garlock lost it. It was last touched by Owen Huffman, so it stays with the Eagles underneath. Yeah, well, so many guys with fouls in there. That's where Case and Doolittle is really going to take advantage of the fact that he can get on the inside now because how can you guard him without getting a foul called on you? Ball in for Lincoln Garlock. Now Can. Can inside. Elkert turns and hits. Nine point lead now. Five points for Elkert. Here's Colin Harris backing it out. Rockets need to get going. Yeah, they definitely need a score on this possession here. Instead, it's a turnover. Doolittle goes up, finishes at the rack. First time we've seen a double-digit lead for either team tonight. And it's the Eagles up 11 with 4.20 to go. You give a lot of credit to that young man, number 10. Case and Doolittle for bringing this Liberty Bend team to where they're at. Rockets miss at the bucket. Eagles trying to clinch a share, at least a share of the BVC. Foul on the layup. Next week, the Eagles will play Riverdale. If they win this game, that would be for the outright BVC title. The Riverdale so far this season, 2-14, and 1-6 and six in the Blanchard Valley Conference. But it could be a trap game, too. you got to be careful. I mean... Substitution for Pandora Gamola, number 10, Aiden Morris. Replaces Newman Swather. Yeah, right now, you know... Everything's flowing for Liberty Benton, and it's all because of that young man, Mason Doolittle, really only had two points in that first half, and has really come on strong in the third quarter, and he's continuing into the fourth. 12-point lead for the Eagles. 3.48 to go. Ball swung around, knocked away. Last touch by Cam Garlock. Well, you can see why these two teams are the top teams and defensive teams in the BBC. I mean, they just are all over the place. They, they attack the ball. You know, they, they go for everything they can. Nice fake at the basket. Owen Huffman puts it in. And a timeout taken by the Rockets as they cut the lead to 10. 39-29. We will step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Today's premier sponsor for the Liberty Benton Eagles is Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Welcome back to Liberty Benton High School. 39-29, Eagles on top. 3.36 to go here in the fourth quarter. Evan Skilleter, Darn Nevergall with you tonight. Cameron Stanton and O'Neill on the cameras. Steal by the Rockets. Here comes Colin Harris, shot blocked by Doolittle. And now a timeout called by Liberty Benton so they could keep possession there. Hey, where were, will your team land in the brackets? And what does their road to Columbus look like? Get the most in-depth analysis and hear from the coaches this Wednesday night at 9 p.m. The WOSN Selection Show presented by Layfeld Welding and Industrial Supplies only on WOSN Wednesday at 9 p.m. Hard to believe tournament time's coming Not up here, Doug. the same thing. Wow, how time flies. We're already into that girls basketball tournament starting, you know, what, next week, is it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, man, boys following after that. It'll be interesting to see how they do the seating and stuff this year. There's some changes in that as well, so. I'm being told my mic cut off. As I was saying, Stephen, o, Stephen McNeil's name, by the way, want to make sure 
Steven gets the credit, doing a nice job underneath the basket with the camera tonight. And of course, Cameron Stanton up top, doing the work on the sound and your top cam. Broadcast not possible without those two, as well as our editor, Zach Keith, back at the station. Nice pass inside, lead extended to 12. Carson Conway gets it to go. That's Conway's first basket of the second half. He had one in the first, now one in the second. Well below his average, but he's done a lot of other different things too. Doolittle almost takes it away, and an offensive foul against Colin Harris. Number four against Colin, number seven against the Rockets. Eagles get the basketball, 2.51 to go. Thirteen total fouls here in the second half. Looks like the Eagles are going to try the possession game here as they pass up a couple open looks. Harris with the layup. He has 18 points, closes the gap to 10. Boy, it's tough. Foul against the Rockets, that's number eight. So a one and one coming up for Cam Garlock. It's the second called against Derek Mag. Garlock, a 78% free throw shooter. We'll round up 79. It's 78.9%, but he misses that one. Rebound pulled in by Aiden Harris. Two minutes to play. Harris gets inside, goes up. He's fouled. Carson Conaway with his fifth. So that'll be it for Conaway. That was a no doubt right there. I mean, just want to swat the ball, but he came down right on top of it. Two free throws coming up for Aiden Harris, looking for points 19 and 20. First free throw, no good. Third miss tonight. That's unusual for that young man. Second one does go. 41 32, lead back to single digits. Now, Aiden Harris with 19 points, and there's some hard fought 19 points, I'll tell you. Eagles cross the timeline, go inside. Now, ball back up top. Doolittle backs his way down, now tosses it out to Lincoln Garlock. Yeah, right now it's just a game of keep away by the look of the bend. Rockets will have to foul soon, and they do. Nope, it's a timeout taken by the Eagles. Well, time timeout as well as that ball was headed to the yeah, back it court. It was. Full timeout, full it's a full timeout from the Eagles. They lead this one by nine. Want to take a second to thank our sponsors one more time. Scoreboard sponsor Springer Insurance, premier sponsor Finley Truck and RV. And make sure to stay tuned after the game for the Stolle Insurance Hustle Award. Check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. A couple of players to choose from. One stands out, but we'll save that for later. And I'll tell you what, we expected a good game, and we've had a great game. We have some really tough players out there. I've seen guys diving on the floor. I've seen multiple fouls, sure, certainly. Uh, probably more than have been called if you ask the fans on our side, at least. Well, I think I think both teams came out. You know, they they knew the importance of this game. They went out there. They played their hearts out. You know, a lot of them, like you said, a lot of diving from these balls. A lot of physical play. Yes, 
But these are the two top defensive teams in the BBC. So, you know, you're going to see that kind of play on, you know, they get a lot of turnovers. They get a lot of points off of those turnovers. You know, those kind of things, you know, and rebounding. Rebounding was a key in this game, and, and Pandora Gavo is holding their own on the rebounding side of it, too. You know, and it got real physical underneath the boards as well. But right now, it's a game of keep away for Liberty Benton. They got a nine-point lead. Now a foul called. 121 on the clock. It's Derek Mag with his third. Ninth against the Rockets. Still one and one for Cameron Garlock. Garlock with five points so far tonight. He's a 79% free throw shooter. He missed his last one, though. He missed both of his shots tonight. First one goes, lead back to 10 with 121 to go. Second one, no good. It's Colin Harris with the rebound. Harris lost the handle briefly. Gets it up to Derek Mag. Mag gets it away, but it's stolen. Gherkin goes up, left-handed layup, good. Point lead with one minute to go. Inside they go, and a blocking foul called against Garlock. Foul is on number two. Aaron Garlock is first. Team's eight. His first foul. That's hard to believe, too. Yes, it is. He's the only player on the court right now with just one foul. Aiden Morris will shoot free throws. Here's the one for you, Evan. Pandora Gilbo with one three-pointer tonight. As the team came in shooting 200, over 220 three-point shots. They only had one. They're a 39% three-point shooting team. And you can tell that the Eagles are trying to run them off the perimeter. They're staying in their hip. They're making sure that no one gets open. Really well-defended game tonight. 10-point lead. Garlock, his pass is tipped. Derek Mag tries to grab it. Doolittle does. And then it's taken away. Mag at the basket. Timeout taken by Pandora. 45 seconds to go. Lead down to eight. So we don't want to call it impossible. No. That was Derek Mag's first basket of the night right there. No, it's not impossible. I mean, little things like that where you're going to get a takeaway in a basket that unofficially that was the 12th turnover from Liberty Benton. If you're going to get that kind of play and get those open shots like that, but they need to knock down a three-pointer, and they just haven't been able to. They haven't had the opportunities, really, to shoot three points. Liberty Benton doing a nice job of getting out there. You're talking about that and getting on the perimeter. They're, they've done a nice job of getting somebody out there to keep anybody open on a three-point shot. And the only three-pointer they had was Aiden Harris in the first half. And Dar, I'm pretty sure I'm correct when I say this. Only two players on, on either team in double figures. Sorry for the technical difficulty there. Only two players on the court tonight with double figure, double figures in scoring, 19 points for Aiden Harris, 15 points for Case and Doolittle. You are correct. But a lot of other players out there with six, seven, eight, you know, those kind. Well-balanced scoring effort tonight. Cam Garlock stops and a jump ball. Arrow pointing Liberty Benton's way. Rockets going down, not going to go down without a fight, I'll tell you that. A foul against Derek Mag. He's had the last four fouls for the Rockets. Yep. It's getting the flow with everybody else, I guess. But you got to give a lot of credit to in Case and Doolittle because he's played this a long time with four fouls. He still has been mixing it up on the inside and doing all the things he had to do for this team. Yeah. 
First free throw up. It is double bonus time for Liberty Benton. That was the 10th team foul against the Rockets. Doolittle with 16 points. Trying to push the lead up to 10. Misses that one. Colin Harris gets the rebound. Harris to Aiden. Aiden attacks, goes up, floats it in. He has 21 points. Another quick timeout taken by Pandora. 24 seconds to go. We'll step aside one more time. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Liberty Benton High School. 45-38, Liberty Benton on top on the Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. They will inbound. Garlock is fouled, and Derek Mag just like that. Just like that. Five fouls. All five coming here in the fourth quarter. Zach Neuenschwander will check in for him. Two free throws coming up for Cameron Garlock. Six points tonight for Cam. On senior night here at Liberty Benton High School. Garlock had five in the first half. He opened it up with a three-pointer. This is the first. Had a rough night tonight so far. Free throw line though for a 79% free throw shooter. Second one goes in, 46-38 to score. Outside, three-pointer on the way. That's good. Aiden Morris knocks it down as the Rockets take their last time out with 13 seconds left. It's a five-point lead for the Eagles. Gonna have to do. Had one three-pointer. That's right. But then again, that was an open three look he had too. Nobody was over there on him, so. 30-second timeout, rather. I said full timeout, but they change it. Now, who do you foul when the Liberty Benton brings it back in bounds? Well, at this point, Dark, whoever has the basketball. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, those guys are I think Cam playing Garlock's hard. 13.6 on the clock. No timeouts remaining for Pandora. Ball goes up over the top. Caught by Doolittle. Doolittle dribbles about three seconds off the clock. Fouls on number 10, Aiden Morris, his fifth. It's the fifth against Aiden Morris. Doolittle five for six so far tonight to foul line. Into the game for the Rockets, number 34, Nate Mack. Nate Mack checks in. Not really the guy the Rockets wanted to see get the ball and have to foul, but LB also knew that that's the guy they wanted to get it to. He gets the first, six point lead, 47-41. 17 points now for Doolittle. Second one goes, 48-41, seven point lead. Rockets got to do something quickly. Harris goes inside. He's fouled on his way up. Foul is on number two, Cameron Garlock is second. It's the second foul two against time. Cameron Garlock. Nine against the Eagles. I believe they called it on the shot. They did not. Referee says one and one. First one goes anyway. 22 points for 12, Aiden Harris. 12 here in the second half, 10 in the first half. Second one goes for 5.6 on the clock. Eagles take their final timeout with 5.6 to go. They lead by five. Again, stay tuned after the game for our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. And check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights 
of tonight's winner and all of our previous winners as well. It's the WOSN YouTube page. While you're at it, follow WOSN on Twitter. Download the app. Get all the local scores from WOSN. Five point six seconds on the clock in a hard fought game, which is basically the BBC championship for the Eagles. The Rockets pull it out. They maintain a chance for a share and a three way tie with Arlington, Liberty Benton. But again, next week, the final game day in the BBC season. Yep. LB with Riverdale next week. Ball goes up. Three seconds on the clock. No foul. And that will do it. Here at Liberty Benton, the Eagles win this one 48 to 43 and move to 17 and 1 on the season. A perfect 8 and 0 in the Blanchard Valley Conference. And at least a share of the crown goes to the Liberty Benton Eagles as they will host Riverdale next week for the outright title in the Blanchard Valley Conference. We will have our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner next. Again, check out the WOSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. And Dar, a great performance from a lot of players tonight, but none better than that of number 10, Kaysen Doolittle. Yeah, Doolittle just came out. Only two points in the first half, both of the free throw line. He came back in the second half with 16 points, 18 total, you know, and just took charge. And basically in the third quarter, he took, the, you know, brought this Liberty Bend team out of the tie, gave them the lead, and they carried the team from that point on, and he added more in the fourth quarter. But, you know, and he played a lot of the last part of the game with four fouls, and he, and he still mixed it up on the inside. Still got the rebounds, still did everything he needed to do to lead this team. And, you know, he's their leading scorer normally at 15 points a game, and he came through there in the second half. So, yeah, good job by that young man, you know, to carry his team to a possible BBC outright championship if they can win next week. I want to thank the Liberty Benton Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. Another big thank you to our sponsors. The scoreboard was sponsored by Sprunger Insurance. Our premier sponsor tonight was Finley Truck and RV. And as always, check out the Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner on our YouTube page. Thanks to our camera folks, Cameron Stanton and Stephen McNeil. And as always, a thank you to you. Our viewer for tuning into high school basketball on WOSN. For Darn Evergall, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. The Eagles win 48-43 over the Rockets. Have a great night, and God bless.